by nature. That's, that's actually the body of an animal, right? Cured with plant-based ingredients. So they're, they're, they're putting plant-based on it. Yikes, this is like an unnatural vegan wet dream. British outdoor bread pig. Plant-based cure. This great addition to the Den Hay range is cured using only plant-based ingredients. Outdoor bread. Equals plant-based. <laughs> Alright, let's do it right. Let's have a little BS counter, okay? How much BS are we gonna find? This great addition to the Den Hay range is cured using only plant-based ingredients. It's taken us several years to develop our special formula. Using extracts and juices from carrots, chard, onion, and acelera cherries. Is it acelera or acarola? Or neither? Could be neither. A truly unique cure designed to draw out the full flavor of our bacon and give you some wonderfully succulent, full-flavored Den Hay taste. I'd rather not, you know, consume the corpses of animals cured in the... Like, why, when you could just eat those? Yeah? You just eat those. You don't have to involve, you know, a once sentient being. Oh, there they are, look. Look how wonderful and sweet they look. And, you know, in those brains of there, there's, uh, there's a little, um, there's a little thought box in there. There's some uh, thoughts and feelings going on in there. Or there were, before you, uh, you know, murked them. Yikes. We are continuing to work with British farmers using only high welfare outdoor bred pigs from the RSBCA Shore Farms, keeping to the high Denhay standards of sustainability, quality, and taste. So this is, look, more than a anything they're mentioning, the sustainability, the quality, and the taste. So these are the, I'm sorry, these are the things that you care about the most, isn't it? Yeah, because you're, you're creating a product out of the bodies of others. RSPCA assured doesn't mean shit. I hate to tell you. This is the charity who believe that it is high welfare to grind up baby birds in a blender. So you know what? I'm not going to take any ethical uh, feedback from them. Uh, they can shove it up their shaylocks. They really can. Ugh. It's weird that they're using this kind of plant-based thing. I mean, I think it does demonstrate that the whole plant-based... Uh, marketing is something that people are looking for so I think it it shows a kind of positive on our end but crikey what absolute nonsense just stop it's embarrassing labeling with the massive letters plant-based and using leaf for lettering yeah yeah I, I think it really does demonstrate that is something that is catching people's eye so I think it's, there's a positive in all of that. That picture I'm livid, foo there. They're actively trying to make it look like it's vegan. Yeah, I, I think they are. They're clearly triggered. I, I, think it's, I, I think it's showing that they're a bit nervous and that the, the things that people are looking for, you know, aren't, aren't the, 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 the usual. So I, I'm gonna see that as a positive, even though that's disgusting. But you've got to look for the light at the end of that tunnel. I feel fuming. Read, read some Carnage BS. <laughs> Peak greenwashing. Yep. Feel that. I'm giving a speech in London this weekend at the We Stand for the Animals event that's entirely about the RSPCA and RSPCA Assured. Are you? Well, best of luck to you. I know a vegan who works for the RSPCA. What's your view on that? Well, it's one of those things that's like you want to be helpful. Like the RSPCA do some helpful things for some animals but they throw a load of animals under the bus. So obviously, you know, if you love animals, you want to be around them, RSPCA is, you know, a place to go. Um, but unfortunately, they they have an ultimate flaw where they just really don't consider other animals. So their welfare standards are just disgusting. So, you know, I'm not like a opposed to it, but yeah.